A lot of times when you're working on your golf swing and you get into the website and there's a lot of videos on there and you're working on little tiny things and getting into the nuts and bolts of things, a lot of times what you really need to focus on is just building the shape of your swing. And so I call what we're going to work on today reshaping your golf swing. And what I mean by that is it's training yourself to learn how to swing the club and how the club works and how the wrist works and how the arms work rather than worrying about you know, getting my takeaway perfect and my setup perfect and all those things which are extremely important of course. But a lot of times we just need to kind of reshape the swing because you have so many little things going on that you don't have the basic idea and the basic concept of how the basic swinging motion of the swing works. And so that's what this video is all about. So this video is ideal for a couple of people a couple sets of people. One, you're, it's winter time and you're just wanting to reshape and start from scratch because what you have isn't working for you. This video is perfect for that. So you have winter to work on it, you're not going to hit a lot of balls, although I'm going to show you how to use this drill to hit balls, but it's going to be more for learning how to just build the shape of a great world-class golf swing without getting into the nuts and bolts of getting every single little step along the way perfect. Once you have the basic shape of the swing, that's when we can go back and start you know, making a change in the takeaway makes a huge difference. But if you have no idea how to swing the golf club, having a perfect takeaway, it's going to take a long time to get to the point where you can really enjoy hitting the ball correctly. The second piece is for those of you who really don't get the concept of how to train the arms independently. And that's how I always, always work on the golf swing when I'm working on something like this is I train the left hand by itself and then the right hand by itself. And I usually start with the left hand first, it depends on the golfer. But the reason for that is the left hand really controls the left arm, left side controls the position and the impact alignments of the club, which is obviously everything. If the club's in the right position at impact, we got a good shot of hitting good shots. So the right hand is really primarily there for speed. So we're going to focus on the left arm first, and then we're going to train the right arm. And this is going to be critical for learning how to just build the shape of a golf swing. And then we're going to go back and you can go back and watch the other videos and get the details of it. But this video is going to be really critical for just about everybody, but those people specifically. You're working on reshaping your swing for the winter. You really don't know what's going on in your golf swing. This is going to help you with that. And then those of you who really need to learn how to train the arms independently so that you know, when you train the left hand, the right hand just doesn't take over and vice versa. So let's get started. When we start shaping the swing, we're going to focus on the left arm first. As I mentioned in the introduction, that's really what's controlling the overall shape and width of the swing and those types of things, and the impact positions most importantly. So we're going to focus on the left arm first, and I'm going to teach you the basic swinging motion. This is going to look a lot like what you perceive as a golf swing. So it's very simple at first. We're just going to, we're, we're, before we get into this progression of drills, we're just going to get the basic shape of the swing. And so there's a couple key points that we're going to focus on. So the first thing that I'm going to do is obviously grip the club with my left hand only. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn back and get my arm to a position at the top that resembles a golf swing. Don't worry about getting it perfect just yet. We're building the overall construct of the swing. So I'm going to keep my left arm straight. I don't want to see this. But I'm going to turn back. I don't want to see this. So as I turn back to the top, weights on the right, all the basic stuff that any piece that you're working on on your golf swing, whether it's the down cock or weight shift, stuff like that, you can still do that in this drill. So to the top and turn. And now what I want to do is I'm going to just shift laterally just a little bit just to get my weight back to the left side. And then I'm going to let my left hand swing down. And what you're going to notice is I'm not going to do this. That's what most people perceive as a golf swing. The only reason you turn in the downswing is because both hands are touching the golf club. Okay, and That's going to force you to turn. But because I only have one hand on the golf club, I only need to shift and let my arm swing. And you'll see I don't turn very much. Now, the only reason I turned at all is because the momentum of the club swinging, because I didn't try and slow it down, pulled me around. I'm not trying to turn. That's critical. Most golfers, especially the guys who get stuck a lot, at a lot of rotation, the club can never catch up and that's what causes that problem. So this drill is critical for those of you who A, either come over the top because when you're going down, you're not going to rotate. And that's what causes most people to come over the top. They turn back and then they do this coming down and that's how they learn to come over the top. And B, for those of you who spin out and get stuck, this drill is awesome for that. So for over the toppers and guys who get stuck, kills two birds with one stone. So we're going to go back, shift release. Now what you'll notice is that as I do this, there's going to be a natural little bit of down cock in there if my wrist stays supple. Now you don't need to get nutty with it and get really, you know, super, I actually hit myself in the shoulder with my shaft, 
but you can, that's okay if you need to exaggerate it. If you're used to feeling a casting motion from the top, and especially if you're used to going rotating a lot, having a significant downcock to exaggerate it where it touches you in the shoulder like you can see here is really easy when that right arm's not in play. So the third group of people for, this is really important for is for those who don't really have any lag or downcock in their swing. It's really easy when you have just your left hand on there. You just keep your wrist soft and as you start down and shift, you can see I have tons of lag and I can really exaggerate it and get a lot of lag. But I don't want that much lag, that's a little excessive. So. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to start building this into a drill. And the first thing we're going to do is with the, our buddy the impact bag. You have to have one of these impact bags from the website or wherever you get one. They're so important for this drill. So what I'm going to do first is the exact same drill but I'm going to focus on getting into the impact bag. And the reason the impact bag is good is for a couple things. One, you're not going to tend to want to keep turning through because the impact bag is going to stop your forward motion. And the second thing is, it's going to allow you to focus on releasing the club into the bag and get some speed into the bag, rather than just trying to rip yourself around to a follow through. So I'm going to focus all my energy into releasing here, and I don't have to worry about squaring the club face or hitting the ball solid. We're going to get to that step next. So here, and then I'm just going to release it. And so you'll see that as I come through, my body's still going to be squared up, and now I've got myself into a good impact position here. This is going to be awesome for those of you who've really flipped the club. It's going to keep you from flipping the club into the bag and it's going to just teach you the basic shape and basic motion of what a golf swing really is. Okay. Once you have that motion, we're going to take the impact bag out for a second and now we're just going to go back to what I was doing earlier, but the, you're going to focus on how your divots bottom out now. And what I mean by that, here on the grass we'll be able to see it a little bit easier. As I do this drill, my divot bottoms out and starts in the exact same spot every single time. Okay, That's not me being coordinated and being able to put it in there. I'm just letting physics and the motion do the work. So I'm letting my arm swing very soft. I'm letting the, my wrist be soft and down cock. And then gravity and physics are what are forcing the release of the club here. So I'm not doing anything. I can even get a little sloppy with it. And it still bottoms out in the exact same spot every time. So. What you want to do is start getting that to happen without a ball in the way so that you're not focused on hitting the ball correctly. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to this third step. So once you've got your divots bottoming out in the same spot, now we can put a ball in front of the bag. So now we're going to kill two birds with one stone. We're going to get over that little nervous system hurdle where people always freak out and say, I do the drill perfectly and I put a ball in there and then it doesn't work. Well, it's not that the drill doesn't work, it's that your brain is now trying to make a compensation to hit this little white demon, okay? So with, now that you've got the impact bag, which you'll build a lot of confidence really quickly hitting the impact bag, you'll get to the point where you can swing and down cock and shift your weight and not spin out really quick. When you take the impact bag away, it'll be a little bit more challenging, but you'll get it. But now when you put the ball in there, the reason we have this third step is to just get over the hurdle of actually just having to hit nothing but the ball. That gets a little scary at first for a lot of people. So this is going to allow you to focus on hitting the impact bag and the ball is just going to get collected. You're going to hit it whether you want to or not. So all I'm going to do now is the exact same drill, back, and you'll see I hit the bag and the ball just fine. Back through. And the ball's not going to go anywhere. I'm using a 7 iron here. It'll fly into the bag and stop. So what you want to start doing is trying to replicate the free flowing shape and swinging motion that you have without a ball and just the impact bag or without the impact bag with the ball in the way. And then of course the fourth step is to take all of your our crutches and hurdles away and just hit and start out really easy, just like our little five minutes to the perfect release video. Just little shots at first, but eventually you'll be able to work up to the point where you can make a pretty full swing and hit the ball just fine. So that'll be the last step. So these four steps are really, really critical for building the shape of your golf swing. Once you have the basic shape, then you can worry about all the details and the positions and the nuts and bolts. But if you don't have a clue what the shape of the swing and what it's supposed to feel like, this nice free flowing, gravity driven how your arms come down. That's one last thing I want to talk about here is that as I'm coming down I'm not trying to pull my arm really hard like I did there. I'm letting gravity take over and so that's how I get a nice smooth acceleration and get my divot to bottom out in the same spot it's because I'm not putting any muscular effort into it. I'm literally going to the top, turning to the top and then just turning this muscle off. And you'll see I'm not trying to move my arm at all 
but if I turn this off, my arm moves really fast. I'm letting gravity get me from here to here. And I have some initial research coming on out on that. It's going to be very interesting. I won't finish it till this winter, but you get the idea that from here to here, the hands are going to move about, my research so far has shown about 85% of your normal max speed of a tour player can get there solely by gravity. But we'll get to that to another day. So here, relax, let the club work through. That's the basic swinging motion. You need to train this left arm first. Get into these impact alignments that are discussed on the site. Once you have that down, that'll take a little while. It'll be different for everybody. But make sure that you're pretty skilled at this. You don't have to hit the ball you know, dead perfect with your left arm only. And you don't need to hit the ball very hard because that's where the right arm is going to help and add some speed. And that's what we're going to talk about next. So now we've got the left arm basic motion. Now how does the right arm work in conjunction with the left arm? That's what we're going to talk about here. So now what we're going to do, the drill's a little bit different. It's got two basic steps to it. The first one is